I might have a problem, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. You've seen the video about that one. It comes out to about 120 bucks. That one, you can get it, go to Academy and pick it up for about 99 bucks. Those, when I got them, were the cheapest ones available. At least I thought so. That was until I found this for $89.99. And then this for $61.99. This one is the absolute cheapest 22 caliber air rifle you can find anywhere. $61.99. Now, there are a few issues with it. Um, I got them yesterday. I, I did shoot them a couple of times. Um, this one, the biggest number one issue with it is there is absolutely no safety on it. No safety at all. Just pull the trigger. It, there's no safety. Uh, this cap at the end of the receiver is loose. Like it feels like I'm trying to tighten it up, but it's just spinning. And the barrel is kind of loose up here. Like you can feel it going side to side. Uh, so I mean, sixty-one ninety-nine. You are getting what you paid for. I mean, it's got a decent little open sight. And um, yeah, that's the biggest issue: is no safety. But there was one other thing I did notice when, when shooting it. When you load it, you have to make sure to push the pellet in as far as it'll go. Make sure it's in there good and tight and sealed. Because if you just put it in there and then close it and shoot it, sometimes it just it doesn't even do anything. It doesn't come out. Like you have to tap the barrel on the ground and get it to fall out of the end. Uh, so you got to make sure it's in there all the way nice and tight and then it'll shoot but it feels pretty powerful I think it's actually more powerful than the other one and without a scope or anything I'm, I'm debating whether I want to buy a scope for these two or not because they're actually pretty accurate as they are uh, they're like the other ones where they've got the grooves in the barrel to mount a scope on it but they are pretty accurate as it is without them so I'm debating I might not buy a scope for them this one is the model B31. I really like this one because it's not a brake barrel. It works the same way. Like you pull this down instead of breaking the whole barrel down. Also, by the way, look at that fiber optic sights. It's got that red fiber optic in there and it's got what looks like a muzzle brake or a silencer on it, but it's actually not. It's just uh, an accessory on the barrel. But look at that sight adjustable fully adjustable up down left right I, I shot this thing at, at dusk and those two dots on there they're almost like glow in the dark like this thing was clear as day it was, as the sun was going down uh, but yeah on top of that when you it doesn't break barrel so it looks like a shotgun or something when you do this it opens up like that now the issue with this one is since it's opening up like that, it is kind of difficult to actually load it to get a pellet in there because you got to get your fingers down inside of this thing. And uh, yeah, that's kind of hard to do. I do have a pellet pin that I might that might make it easier to load, but I just don't see that actually working either because you'd have to put it in straight and kind of angle it down. I don't, I don't. Maybe it'll be easier with that. Maybe not. Uh, anyway, these don't actually have a brand name on them. Even the instruction booklet here just says operating manual. Uh, there's no brand name on it. Uh, this The one I got was the model B31. They also have B32, B33. Um, the other one, I don't think it even has a model name. No, it's a B1. Okay. So that's the B1. The other one's the B1-3. Or the B, okay, the B1 and the B3 is what I got. So I'm kind of curious what the B2 is. I didn't see that out there. But anyway, these were on Amazon. $61.99, $89.99. The two of them together cost about the same 
as like the Ruger Airhawk at Walmart or Academy or something. They do have serial numbers on them, but like I was saying, there's no actual like brand name. It's just a model number, the B1 and the B31. So uh, they do. I think that's just the seller's name. Maybe he's the guy making them, but it's Isazon or something. I S A A Z O N. I don't know if that's their brand name or not. I don't think so. The boxes they came in say Defender Extreme. But there's no other brand name on them. So maybe that's the brand name, Defender Extreme. I don't know. Well, let's get out there and shoot them. All right, we're going to go with the B1 first. I guess I missed. But what's crazy about this, let's check it out, these guns. They smoke like real guns. Work that time. Splattered the camera a little bit too. Alright, now we're going with the B3. Good thing this one's got a safety on it because that, that's a very lightweight trigger. Hit it that side. Oh, you know what? I've actually hit it a couple of times. <laughs> I was actually hitting it every time. It just wasn't knocking it down. Well, that was actually kind of lame. It was so hot outside, my camera overheated and stopped recording right when I hit the target. So maybe you'll get like a nice little still frame of the styrofoam cup exploding which it really exploded I mean there's front and back split like that no water left in it that was probably one of the cooler shots I've ever gotten on camera except it wasn't on camera but anyway the guns performed pretty well I was actually shooting one the shooting the bottle with the b3 and I didn't realize I was hitting the bottle. I thought I kept missing, so I kept shooting it and shooting it. And I was like, why am I not hitting this thing? And then I went and turned it over, and the water just started pouring out, all of, I'm pouring out of all the holes. So I was hitting it. It's just, it was going through it so cleanly, I couldn't tell. So that's kind of cool. I mean, that, maybe it's a little bit more powerful than I think it was, than I, than I was giving it credit for. But at the same time, it, what, they weren't blowing through the back of my backstop that I made there like the other 22s did so they're not quite as powerful I wouldn't go like hunting with them like for raccoons or rabbits or something those two especially that one but those two I would go I'm actually definitely gonna go hunt rabbits with those maybe raccoons or something sometime the these two uh, small game I'd say maybe a squirrel Rats, definitely. Pigeons, something like that. You know, pest control. Wouldn't really use them for, for actual hunting. But, as I was saying, this one does not have a safety on it. It's just, and these triggers are really light. You just barely pull them. It doesn't take any strength. It's a really lightweight trigger. Uh, but, this one's got a really easily adjustable sight. You just lift it up, and you can slide this thing wherever you want. But everything else on it feels a little loose. It's a little awkward. So if you're not really comfortable, if you're worried about that kind of thing, maybe don't get this one, even though it's like 60 bucks. Um, but this one was really nice. This one, it's got a fully adjustable sight, really nice fiber optic uh, sight up at the end. I like the way it opens like that. It's almost like a shotgun. Um, yeah, this one worked pretty well. It's also got a really, really light trigger. Like, I just barely touched it, and it was shooting. But, at least this one has a safety. Uh, it's also a lot more well-made. There's no wobble to it. Nothing feels loose. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. Uh, but, they're real wood stocks. 
I like them, especially this one. Um, trying to think if there was any other points I was trying to make. Not really, nothing I can think of. $89.99, this was worth it. Check out the links in, in the description for Amazon. Uh, they are affiliate links, so if you click on something from the affiliate links and you buy something, you're helping my channel out a lot. So, thanks for that if you do it, if you've done it before, if you do it in the future. Thank you. Uh, check these out. They're they're kind of unbranded, they're generic, but this one's this one's awesome. And if you notice the other one just had a little screw cap on the end, this one's so much more. Like they look like they're almost the same gun, but this one's a lot better quality. So thanks for watching. See you next time. And I need to try to stay off of Amazon because I keep buying stuff. It's not good.